I can't believe that I'm gonna pull out my dog hair slivers live with you on GGTV Ultimate Humiliation Challenge. So the thing is, you guys, I've been dealing with this my whole life. I have five different fingers that are affected by it. Let me tell you, if I ever thought I would be embarrassing myself to this level on YouTube, never in a million years, I'm doing this for you. I'm going to break it down. I've had surgery three freaking times because of hair slivers. So first of all, hardcore just have survived. And this is how I've survived. These are my own hacks. and I'm going to share them with you today on GGTV. So round one, hair sliver removal. I like the, the Luans, it's just like the harder form of the coconut oil. I really like this one and I just take it like a little bit and I like it because, and I like this, I just put it in between each and every finger before I even start my process. Now what it is, is that it's an antioxidant and it really helps to soften every single part up Oh, honestly, you guys, this is a seriously important part. You have to loosen everything up because what happens is they get trapped down. And, so and I've had surgery twice on this hand and once on this hand. So the next pro tip I'm going to give you is I love this little eucalyptus. I just take it with a Q-tip. What I find this does, it kind of, like, it doesn't really sting. It just feels like it's kind of working. But what this actually does, for me anyway, is it opens up the pores. So this is just the first stage of what I do every single time. So this is about four or five minutes after the application with the coconut and the eucalyptus. And if you guys can like look closely, you can see how those hairs are working themselves out. One thing I didn't mention is it kind of becomes a little bit like a callus. So I really feel like this step is super important. So the next step is pretty simple and I actually love this part like the most is the Epsom salt. So you want to take, I use about a half a cup, I'm not sure, like I, honestly I made this up myself just to be preventative, I had to. So I like to use about a half a cup of Epsom salt and then I'm going to pick the grossness out. So stay tuned, the gross part is just about to come. So that's it, like about 15-20 minutes, but your hands feel fantastic after you put in the Epsom salts. So the next part of this trick, uh, I always use a little bit of ISO and I always like disinfect my tools. Uh, I just put a little tray of ISO, I just soak my tools in the ISO just for a couple minutes and then I'm ready to start picking out the gross stuff. I wear gloves, then you would like to sterilize your equipment in ISO. Here's our tweezers that we'll be using today. Check this out. Oh, ah, look at that. Ay, ay, ay. So we're getting started here on the last finger. And little pro tip, you want to flip it this way. So if you can see, I have it on an angle. You want it this way when you're going in there. And oh my gosh. Oh, it's never pleasant. Look at the stuff you're pulling out of there. That's another thing. You want to make sure you get them off before you go back in again. Honestly, you guys, you don't even know some of the lengths of it. Look at this. Look at the lengths. These are crazy. And I do this every single week. This is a real, real thing. Uh, it's like a lottery. You never know what she's gonna pull out of my finger. And this particular finger is my actually my worst one. Ah, oh, I can feel it. It's like crazy how that feels. Uh, but if if I don't stay on top of this one, I don't know why. I'm not exactly sure why this one is. It's the worst one. I really have to, and sometimes I even have to clip off the top of it. It almost becomes like a kind of a callus. Look at the length of that thing that she just pulled out of there. Aye. And this is a never ending story. Just oh no, no, we're yeah. not done yet. Yeah, ah, oh, easy. <clears throat> I only get to do this every once in a she while. She loves it. 
I oh. actually, actually love. I'm to actually do gonna show you as and much as possible here. Oh goodness! So the top is almost out, I but yeah, it. she's gonna probably have to gonna have to go underneath it, and you're definitely not gonna want to see that. I don't think. We're Okay, so this particular finger is actually my worst finger of all the fingers that I have. And so we already took the uh, nail clippers out of the ISO. They've been properly cleaned and everything. So I, I, I don't know. All I can say is it kind of acts like a callus. So Madison already picked up most of the grossness. Now what I try to do is I just sort of try to take the dead skin off the top of it. And what I find is that when, as soon as I can open, I don't want to cut it open. <laughs> like, I don't want you guys to hack yourself open, but I sort of just try to take those little layers off. And it takes a bit of work. You guys can see this, I hope you can. This little cyst that's happening. That's because I've gone about 14 days. Now we're gonna give her little hair sliver spots relief with wall hot spot spray. This part burns a little bit, but it feels good. It's like, a, oh, baby. It feels like it's working. I always want to tell you guys, you seriously, I use this stuff for everything, but it really, really is important. You've just opened up major wounds. Anyway, if you guys get in real nice and close on there, you can see I got all the rest of those slivers out. Super, super important. Fingers. I hope you guys are loving these. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. GGTV.